greatest weapon of all. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time we started talking. Pain isn't something we thought. All we could ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. They pray for freedom and justice. Some veterans not getting the timely care that they need. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom because... Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks You don't look power. sad. Let's discuss. Hey guys, how's it going? How you doing? Um, welcome to vet to vet podcast, new episode, uh, season 3, episode 15. Uh, Blue Water Navy Veteran Bill. Uh, if it's your first time listening, then thanks for coming. Thank and, you. Uh, as a short reminder, vet to vet is a non-profit uh, educational project dedicated to assist veterans with adjusting to civilian lifestyle and to provide assistance in obtaining your VA and other available benefits that you have earned. The Senate uh, passed the Blue uh, Water Navy Vietnam Veterans Act. So the bill uh, guarantees disability benefits to 90,000 veterans and uh, is signed by the president right now. The final legal battle for blue, blue Water Navy veterans to receive their VA disability benefits for exposure to the cancer-causing toxins appeared to be finished. Uh, the Justice Department dropped its appeal of the federal court decision from earlier this year. So, In the case uh, uh, Prokopia versus Milkia, that was uh, that reversed the 1997 VA decision to deny that so-called blue water veterans were exposed to Agent Orange while serving in the uh, waters of uh, Vietnam. So the Prokopia decision ruled that the VA should presume those sailors were exposed to the toxic chemical at some point during their service and uh, grant them the same benefits as other Vietnam vets. So, month after uh, the Federal Court of Appeals ruled in favor of thousands of Vietnam vets receiving uh, healthcare coverage uh, for illness related to Agent Orange, the Secretary of Department of Veterans Affairs issued a stay on pending claims for Blue Water Navy vets until January 2020. So, let's go into the topic. Yeah. On Tuesday, June 25th, President Trump signed into law H.R. 299, the Blue Water Navy Vietnam Veterans Act of 2019. The American Legion supported legislation will extend disability benefits covering medical conditions associated with Agent Orange exposure to those who served on ships off the coast of Vietnam known as the Blue, Blue Water Navy Veterans. Veterans who served in Vietnam between 1962 and 1975 are presumed to have been exposed to Agent Orange if diagnosed with a medical condition associated with the herbicide according to the Agent Orange Act of 1991. Presumptive diseases of exposure to the herbicide include certain cancers, uh, Parkinson's disease, and diabetes. However, this act applied only to veterans who served on land and in Vietnam inland waterways. H.R. 299 extends these benefits to any military personnel who served on any vessel during the Vietnam War that came within 12 nautical miles of the coastlines of Vietnam. So that expanded a lot for a lot of people. So if you guys ever were denied a claim in the past, it might be worth filing for it again and seeing what happens. H.R. 299 further expands coverage and includes the provision that every veteran exposed to herbicides like Agent Orange should receive the same presumptive benefits. A provision in H.R. 299 states, A veteran who, during active military, naval, or air service, served offshores of the Republic of Vietnam during the period beginning on January 9, 1962 and ending on May 7, 1975, will be eligible for disability compensation for presumptive conditions of herbicide exposure. This will allow veterans who fall into the category and whose claims have been denied or held pending status to gain access to VA medical care for conditions on the presumptive list. 
H.R. 299 will afford spouses of certain veterans whose death was caused by service-connected disability access to pension benefits. The bill also provides the children of veterans of covered service in Thailand who suffer from spina bifida access to health care, vocational training and rehabilitation and monetary allowance, and ensuring that the claim gets the earliest effective date for benefits ultimately warned warranted by law. Number one, if the VA previously denied service-connected disability or death benefits based on a finding that the veteran was not exposed to Agent Orange because he or she served only in the waters offshore of Vietnam and that denial has become final, then as soon as possible file to reopen the claim. If filing before February 19, 2019, or file a supplemental claim if filing on or after February 19, 19 2019. Note that the U.S. Court of Appeals for Federal Circuit uh, recent decisions in Procopio versus Wilkie, number 217-1821 of the Federal Circuit of January 29, 2019, support and award of benefits. So there might be a lot of money back there. You guys want to look into that. If the VA has denied service-connected disability or death benefits based on the finding that the veteran was not exposed to Agent Orange because he or she served only in the waters offshore of Vietnam, but the denial has not yet become final, appeal the denial or continue pursuing the appeal of that denial. Note that the U.S. Court of Appeals for Federal Circuit recent decisions in the Pro Pro Proprio v. Wilkie uh, supports an award of benefits. If the claimant has not previously submitted a claim for service-connected disability or death benefits, but may qualify for such benefits based on the veteran's exposure to Agent Orange in the waters offshore of Vietnam, file a new claim for such benefits as soon as possible. Note that the U.S. Court of Appeals of the Federal Circuit recent decision supports an award of benefits. And number four, if the claimant has a Pending claim for service-connected disability or death benefits based on exposure to Agent Orange in the waters offshore of Vietnam, and the VA has not issued a decision on that claim, no action is required. However, there is no harm in submitting a statement in support of claim arguing that the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit recent decision supports an award of benefits. So definitely push it, and especially if any of you guys know any Vietnam veterans that pass from heart attacks, cancer issues, uh, Parkinson's in the 90s in the 80s you guys might want to look into it because there could be something there for you yeah um, the main uh, the main idea of uh, today's podcast if uh, you are a Vietnam vet uh, if you're not dead yet so and you've been denied before so you might uh, file again you can uh, try to file again and see if uh, you can uh, get your claims approved yeah and if any spouses are listening look into that too because there could be benefits for you mm -hmm. so push it so that's it uh, guys for today and as always uh, Joe do you have any uh, book uh, movie you would like to suggest uh, I've been listening to the Sturgill Simpson album uh, Sound and Fury that's on Netflix that's really good so if you guys want to check that out it's pretty cool Even uh, well guys and as always a call to action a call towards the wisdom of the day to end the podcast the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy Thank you guys uh, that's it folks uh, thank you for listening until next time over and out thank you